Welcome to Italy for the final round of the 2022 Tour European Rally. Rally Terra Sarda embraces the north of Sardinia, the Galura region, and the world-famous Costa Smeralda. The event starts in Tempio Pausania and ends in lovely Porto Cervo, bathing in the beautiful Mediterranean Sea. The seventh Tour European Rally season starts and ends in Italy. From Tuscany up to the French Riviera, across to the Beauvolet regions of Switzerland, back to Piedmont and the UNESCO World Heritage Longue area, through to Georgia, across to Wales, before the final event in Sardinia. <laughs> After TER Tour European Rally Round 5 in Get Connected Rally Caradigia, two-time Swiss champion Ivan Valinari and his Volkswagen Polo are in the series lead. Ahead of the Hyundai i20 of Hyundai New Zealand driver Hayden Padon and the Skoda Fabia driven by Jonathan Michelot. After the TER launched a new adventure starting in 2023, the TER World Series, many events have shown interest in TER and already joined as TER promo events in 2022. The promo event season kicked off in Rovaniemi, Finland with Arctic Lapland Rally, followed by the new entries, Mexico with Rally of Nations Guanajuato, and Japan with Rally Mantra in June. Porto Cervo, a favorite jet set location, is the perfect host for the press conference, some promotional events, and the TER Rally Village. There are many reasons to celebrate in Rally Terra Sarda. First of all, the 10th edition of the event, but also the 60 years of the Costa Smeralda and the first century of the city of Arzacena. The 10th Rally Terra Sarda is run over two days, 11 special stages through the northern part of the beautiful Mediterranean island in the Galura and Costa Smeralda area. In 2017, JWRC and WRC3 world champion from Spain, Nil Solans, is co-driven by Luca La Rosa on a Skoda Fabia R5. Well, this weekend uh, we are in Sardinia, we are doing Rally Terra Sarda, first time for us uh, here in this island uh, on tarmac. Normally we compete in the rally of the WRC on gravel. So the roads are quite tricky, quite slippy in some places, but uh, really fun. So we will see what we can do with our car, our tyres Pirelli, and uh, I think that uh, the setup is quite okay. The pace notes and the co-driver is doing a great job. So uh, I think we can go and fight for the podium, and if we can for the win, for sure we will try it. The TER Series provisional leader, two-time Swiss champion Ivan Balinari, is tackling his fourth event, sharing a Volkswagen Polo R5 with Elena Jovanale. I have to congratulate the organization of the TER, which are doing an excellent work. At the media level, there is a very high return. If we can drive here today, it's thanks to the TER. Good. Keep it up. And certainly you will be able to achieve a greater interest than the very good we have here today. You are on the right way. Thank you for everything. 
TER Series Ambassador Hayden Padon contests his third round of the season. After victories in Alba and Rally Caradigian, the Hyundai New Zealand driver, 2011 PWRC World Champion, former Hyundai Motorsport WRC Works driver, and winner of the 2016 WRC Rally Argentina, is looking for a hat trick, which would mean a second title this season after his record sixth NZRC victory. He is co driven by young Jared Hudson on a Hyundai i20 by HMI. It's been a real privilege to be part of TIA this year. We've really enjoyed it. Um, three very different rallies between Elba, uh, Wales and of course here. Um, but three very nice rallies, three very different rallies and uh, yeah, we'll try and give it our best shot this weekend and try and win the championship. Uh, that's what we come all the way from New Zealand to try and do. Uh, but going to enjoy the rally as well. Two-time Italian ladies champion Raquel Somaschini, co-driven by local Fabio Salas on a Citroen C3, is back to the series after taking TER ladies trophy honors in the opening round of Rally Terra Valle del Tabere. Yes, I'm happy to be the leader of the ladies trophy, even if the, my main goal is the uh, top 10 and everything. So I really want to, to improve my pace and, and go on. Some other crews will be battling for the win. Multiple event winner Vittorio Muselli shares a Hyundai i20 WRC, wearing a dedicated Sardinia library, which will be seen in the 2023 TER series. A trio of Skoda Fabias follows, led by 2014 Italian junior champion Giacomo Scandalone. A sunny day greets the crews of Rally Terrasarda for the shakedown and opening loop of stages around Tempio Pausania. Hayden Padon takes first blood being fastest in the first two stages. With his Hyundai i20, he is 0.5 seconds per kilometer faster than his closest rival, Nil Solans. <laughs> the Spaniard, returning behind the wheel of a Skoda Fabia after one year, is second fastest in both occasions. A great fight is on for third place. Frenchman Pierre-Paul Bartolo's Skoda Fabia is fourth fastest in the opening test, but snatches in the following stage the provisional third step of the podium from the Volkswagen Polo of Ivan Molinari. The TER series leader is well in the fight for the championship and with a comfortable advantage over Raquel Somaschini. Three, two, one. Yeah. Dosso dritto lungo per tardi sia quattro tieni su di tre più e venti. Apre quattro. Yeah. Per. Raquel Citro in C3 holds fifth ahead of Patrice Spitalier. The leading TER junior driver from Mexico is discovering the Puget 208 and holds on to sixth place. In the same class, TER two-wheel drive leader and local driver Michele Licheri is seventh. Emmanuel Sergio Ferris leads the TER production, taking his Abarth 124 rally to eighth overall.
The top 10 is completed by two drivers returning to the TER after some years. 2017 and 2018 TER production runner-up, Dutchman Hank Beckenes samples for the first time an R5 car, a Skoda Fabia with which he is ninth. Seventeen TER Two Cup runner-up Simone Valentin from Denmark is driving a Mitsubishi Lancer and holds on to tenth place, losing some time after a puncture. Hayden Padon leads the standings after the first two stages. Three stages form the afternoon loop. Some light rain starts to fall, adding to the challenge of the technical Sardinian tarmac stages. <laughs> Fastest on the second pass over the morning stages, Hayden Padon retains a comfortable overnight lead. Just under 20 seconds, despite leaving the best time on the day's final test to Nil Solans. The Spanish driver remains in the fight for victory, winning the last stage of the day after being four seconds behind Padon. He increases his advantage over third-placed Ivan Balinari, who climbs on the podium after Frenchman Pierre-Paul Bartolo's Skoda Fabia retires in the third stage. A consistent pace from the Swiss driver allows him to settle on the provisional podium. I am happy with the time set on the first test, in the first and second pass. The second special stage wasn't my territory, a lot of cuts and a lot of dirt. If I think about what I lost from Patton in Wales, here is much better, so I'm happy. We had uh, a lot of feeling inside the car today, we changed many times the setup and we have been improving, so let's see it. Uh, we enjoyed the last one with a lot of people, so it's like it is today, tomorrow is a new day, uh, different stages, uh, less gravel on the road, so we will enjoy for sure. It's been a, a good day for us, we've just uh, been going at a good speed, not taking any risks. Uh, the roads have been very slippery, there's been a lot of sand and dirt on the road, so uh, yeah, we're enjoying it, it's uh, very nice stages. Sardi a tre, e dieci, apre quattro pieni, su B43 chiude, per just outside the top three, Raquel Somaschini is comfortable in her Citroën C3, followed by two Puget 208s. 2021 NACAM Junior Champion from Mexico, Patrice Vitalier, retains the TER Junior lead and fifth place, slowly increasing his margin over Michele Licieri. Sinistra 4, su destra 3, subito sinistra 3. Su, destra, tre, lunga, 50 con dosso, destra, quattro. The local driver tops the TER two-wheel drive standings and holds a good sixth position. In TER production, Emmanuel Sergio Ferris is pushing to keep the advantage over Danish driver Simone Valentin, who is catching back previous time in the changing grip conditions helped by the greater grip of his four-wheel drive car. The two crews are seventh and eighth. Dutch Hank Bakkenis is making the most of his maiden event with an R5 car, ending the day in ninth place. In the overall classification of Rally Terrasarda, Hayden Padon and Nils Solans precede the Skoda Fabia of Antonio Ruscha. Ivan Balinari is fourth, ahead of Vittorio Muselli's Hyundai i20 WRC.
Caden Padon ends the opening day in the lead of the TER standings. A wonderful sunny autumn day is the backdrop for the second day of action over the challenging stages of the Costa Esmeralda area. The crews will tackle two passes through the three special stages, including the famous Izuleta test. With the best time on the opening stage, Nil Solans takes another 1.4 seconds off Hayden Padon's lead. The Spaniard's joy, however, is short-lived as he has to retire on the following test with a mechanical problem. With the bonus points awarded for the three fastest crews in the power stage, Hayden Padon, second fastest, and Ivan Balinari, third, are tied on points at the top of the provisional TER series standings with five stages to go. Kiwi Hayden Padon then takes two more stage wins, extending his lead to more than one minute over Ivan Balinari. The Swiss driver is enjoying the event and the challenge, but struggles to match his rival's pace. TER Ladies Trophy Leader Raquel A. Somaschini is on the final step of the provisional podium. In fourth place, Michele Licieri is steady on top of the TER two-wheel drive standings. Behind him, the battle goes on for fifth place, and the TER production leadership, Emmanuel Sergio Ferris and Simone Valenti, are trading seconds, the latter taking the advantage in the last two stages of the loop. Hank Beckinis climbs up to 7th after bad luck hits Mexico's Patrice Vitalier. The TER junior leader goes off the road, and despite the crew's efforts to rejoin the rat and the race, the time loss means they reach the following control beyond the maximum lateness. Hayden Padon holds on to the TER lead midway through the second day. Costa Esmeralda is a world-famous tourist destination in the northeast part of Sardinia. The sun-soaked jet-set holiday location boasting white sand beaches, top-class services, and locations such as glamorous Porto Cervo. Sardinia and the Costa Esmeralda are ready to welcome you. Three more stages before the finish of Rally Terra Sarda. Padon and Balinari have taken a season-long fight for the title down to the wire. Unbelievably tied on points after the power stage. Still a lot to play for, and as usual, anything can still happen with so much at stake. The final loop of stages provides more breathtaking action in the lovely climate of the Mediterranean island, warming up the crews, team, and fans. In the overall classification of Rally Terrasarda, the Hyundai i20 WRC of Vittorio Muselli finishes in fourth, while Antonio Ruscha's Skoda Fabia is second.
The TER production drivers have fought bravely over two days, trading seconds and places. Emmanuel Sergio Ferris held on to the lead until the penultimate stage with his Abarth 124 rally, but ultimately had to surrender to Simon Valentin. The Danish driver returned to the TER series some years after finishing runner-up in the TER2 Cup and quickly adapted to a new car, the Mitsubishi Lancer. Slowly nibbling away seconds from his rival, he took the TER production honors by a mere 2.2 seconds. The TER two-wheel drive was steadily in the hands of Michele Licieri until he had to retire in Stage 10. Despite retirement, Mexican brothers Patrice and Nicolas Vitalier secured victory in the TER Junior final standings. happy to, to end the championship. We, we, we won the TR Junior Championship and, and we got that amazing prize that DP gave us and, and I just want to thank you all. Hank Beckenis made a welcome return to the TER Series after some years, enjoying his first time in an R5 car and a new event. He finished in sixth place. Sardi di 600, ora rotonda, sta a sinistra, a quattro tieni su D26. Su a due stern, 300 da qui veloce. Vai, vai. A maiden TER podium and victory in the TER Ladies Trophy rewarded Raquel Somaschini, who ended her season in the series in the same way as it began in Rally Terravalla del Tibere. Volkswagen Polo of Ivan Balinari sealed a great international season, accompanied by Marco Menchini and Elena Giovanale, doing two events each with second place, keeping the title fight alive until the end with two drivers tied on points after the season's final power stage. The two-time Swiss champion definitely earned his silver medal. What a season, a first overall victory on tarmac in Wales, and what an event in Sardinia. Seven fastest stage times, and in the lead from start to finish. Hayden Padon, Jared Hootson, and the Hyundai i20 are the winners of Rally Terra Sarda, and secure success in the 2022 TER Tour European Rally. It's uh, been awesome, that's what we come all the way to Italy to do, so to wrap it up like this, uh, it's been really good. Um, everyone's been done an awesome job, a massive thanks to everyone as part of the TIA Championship. We've really, really enjoyed it, they're amazing rallies, a lot of fun, um, and also a lot of great competitors, a lot of great uh, feelings within the community if you like. So um, yeah, thank you and also to the team and HMI and Jared in the car, it's been a really uh, enjoyable weekend, so it's good fun. Aiden Padden and Jared Hudson. The TER, the TER winners of this weekend, of this last round of the season in Rally Terra Sarda. I think I couldn't did more today. Padden is a champion, and you can't think of beating him. We had a good race. We improved stage after stage. The car and the Roger Tuning team did a great job, and the driver needs to grow in the results. I'm very happy to be here, and also with Fabio, we have made a brilliant job, also because the race wasn't, wasn't so easy, so... I'm so happy. Vinta da Aiden Pando e Jared Hudson, ma ottimo il grande secondo posto col coltello tra i denti per Ivan Balinari e Elena Giovenale e terzo posto per Rachele Somaschini, Fabio Salis e anche il Lady Strophi conquistato da Rachele. Aiden Padon, Ivan Balinari and Rachele Somaschini are on the TER podium in Porto Cervo. Hayden Padon and Jared Hootson are the 2022 TER Series Champions. Glamorous Porto Cervo and Hotel Luci di la Montagna provided the ideal location for the 2022 TER prize giving and award ceremony.
The Tour European Rally will be back in 2023. We'll see you then. Discover a jewel from colonial times, a place to connect with the past in a very avant-garde style. Quite a spectacle for your eyes and for your heart. A daily adventure during daytime or at night. Guanajuato. Live great stories.